Hello again, uh, this is part two following up with uh, Google Docs and using folders and file storage in Google Docs. Uh, so in the first video we looked at how to get into your documents and set up folders and we started setting up a subfolder. Um, so what I wanted to do is follow up on how to manipulate those folders, how to rename them, and also how to uh, share them, but then also how to move files back and forth between the folders if you find that things got uploaded to the wrong folder or they need to be moved for resource reasons and you can certainly do that. So in the first example we looked at creating an images folder and adding images to the general images folder uh, but then we might find it handy to date uh, folders from there. So I created a subsequent um, subfolder called 2010. So I click on the top level images folder and I'm going to select uh, half of the images that are in there and what I can do is go up to the move to uh, button right above the list of files there and then select images kinda click that arrow to expand and then find my 2010 folder and click move to folder so that's pretty straightforward you can also delete files you can select the files that you want to delete and there is a delete button there you also have some other options as to sharing or more actions whether you want to star or hide or change owners or export those documents as you see fit. Uh, it's also convenient in the case of a you know, graduate school project or a team project of some kind if you wanted to share a folder's worth of resources. So for one of my projects I had a top level folder set up which was our course name and then underneath there a couple of subsequent folders for some of my work and then some of the group work that we need to do for, uh, for that exercise. So you would set up the folder structure the same way that you did before for my images and 2010 folder but then decide how you want to share those folders with others. So the shared folders will always have the folder icon and then the little uh, little stick figure there that indicates that that folder is shared. So if I wanted to, sh to share, let's say, the network design folder, I would click on it and then click share up here and click sharing settings or email editors or viewers, either one there. Uh, what you will see is the sharing settings come up and you'll see that you are listed as the owner and just like you're sharing any other Google Doc, if you go to Add People, you can either choose them from your contacts or you can punch in their email address, whatever you think is more appropriate, and then set their relative permissions there. If you want people to view everything that's in the folder, you could leave it as Can View. If you wanted them to contribute and add and edit the files that are in that folder, then you could choose uh, Can Edit. Include a personal message if you would like, and then click the Share button. Okay, what you then see is that your folder would change from the single non-shared folder icon to the shared folder icon.